What is the bare minimum for you? The bare minimum? Yeah. Um, someone that kind of just has their life together, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I really like funny guys too. I need someone that's going to keep up with the banter. Okay. Where can some, how can somebody find true love in today's dating market? That's a good question. I think just trying to get to know people. I give a lot of people a chance, I think. Um, it's so awkward. This is I've never done this before with a, with a video like this. I hope you edit this part out. I got it. I got it. Um, I'm so sorry. What was the question again? I'm so bad at this. I've never done this. How can somebody find uh, love in this current dating market? I think getting to know people and actually giving someone a chance, not just being like, oh, that person's not my type or they're not dressed the way I like or something, you know, actually giving someone a chance. Um, and I think most of the time, the strongest relationships are when you're friends first, you know, when you get to know somebody and then you eventually start liking them and falling for them. You have to meet somebody in person or online? In person, but obviously it's so hard to meet somebody in person. So either one, I guess. Do women want equality or they want to be dominant? Equality or dominant? Yeah. I think equality. Equality. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you believe like a relationship should be fifty fifty or like the man should be like pay for the majority of things? I think 50-50 in terms of like everything like maybe if a guy is paying 70% then the girl's doing something else mm -hmm. you know she's keeping up more like if they're living together then maybe she's not you know, I, I don't know I think it should be equal in terms of like income too like if the guy's making more mm -hmm. than the girl then I think they should kind of split it so that it's still equal or if she's working a little bit less then maybe she's keeping up with the house more you know so I think that would still be 50 50 but just in different ways but I think 50 50 is the most important thing or even you're both putting in a hundred I think that's the most important thing you're both giving a hundred percent what's the difference between a boyfriend and a husband hmm. I think a husband is somebody who wants to be a husband. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just want a wife. He doesn't want kids. He wants to be a husband and he wants to be a father. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the biggest difference. He doesn't just want a girl. He wants to be there for somebody instead of just like having a girl on his arm. How would you define maturity? How would you define maturity? <laughs> In your own words. Just like putting putting your all into something and hmm, that's a good question. So we have a female president? Sure, why not? Oh Lord. Who you think gonna win the election? I have no idea. I wish I had an answer for you. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see next week where we are. Do you feel like politics matter when it comes to dating? Yeah, you, I feel like it's important to have someone that thinks the same as you do. Okay. Right, right, uh, who you, you want to tell everybody who you vote for? I won't share that. <laughs> okay, I won't okay. share that much. Okay. But, yeah. Could, could you date a guy who vote opposite of you? Uh, no, I couldn't, okay. personally. Okay. You feel like couples should talk about... If they say yeah. politics and religion, you shouldn't talk about on the first date, when should you discuss those matters? I think you should talk about it on a first date. I think you should talk about it, see if you're on the same page, because if you're not on the same page, a lot of time that's a deal breaker. So, might as well just figure it out then. <laughs> what do you feel like women really want from a man? Um, respect. So, women uh, go to jail for falsely accusing men of uh, sexual assault? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, why, <laughs> well, why do you think uh, they don't get prosecuted in court like they should? Um, because probably everyone believes women. <laughs> okay. Should people believe all women? Um, not if they're lying. Okay. How would you define a good man? That's a great question. I'm not sure. Honestly. Okay. How would you define a good woman? Um, 
Oh, define a good man. Um, somebody who is kind. I would say the same for women. Kind? Okay. Mm -hmm. Should men judge women based on what they wear? No. Okay. So you feel like if a woman dressed like provocative, that don't mean she wants sex? Mm-mm. Okay. No, I think women dress for themselves mostly. Okay. They don't dress to impress a man? Mm-mm. Okay. They don't dress to like show off to other women? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How would you define low self-esteem? Um, I guess somebody who just doesn't have much confidence in themselves. and in, Yeah, insecure maybe. Who do you think are more mature men or women? Women. Okay, at what age do you think they mature faster than men? Um, probably teen years, I would say. Okay. Why do you think women tend to like date older men that's more financially stable? Uh, maybe more mature, I think. Okay. Do you think this culture nowadays, they, they want to build together or they just want somebody who's already at the finish line with resources and money? I think it depends. I think some women probably want, you know, the finish line or some probably want to build them. Oh, really? Why do you, you think younger, uh, why do you think older men are attracted to younger women? Um, it depends. If it's a few years younger, I don't think it's anything. But if it's like probably a 10 to 15 year difference, I think they're a creep. <laughs> you think they're a creep? Why are you they a creep though? Because they say scientifically men are attracted to younger women. Um, I just think that, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm grossed out by older men, so. <laughs> okay. you, you think they should be grossed out, they're, they're attracted to younger females? It depends on the age gap, personally. Like, if he's 50 and the girl is 21, legal age, that's creepy? I think it's weird, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think any man wanting to date somebody almost their daughter's age is probably a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, how, how do women typically shame men? Shame them? Yeah. I don't know. Um, some women are mean, you know. Okay. You feel like shame can help society or hurt society? It depends. If they need to be shamed, I think it could help. But sometimes, you know, probably the opposite. What can you provide for a man besides sex and money? Um, partnership. Um... I guess, I don't think all men want that, you know? I think a lot of men have more emotions and feelings than that, and I think that it would be nice for them to be with somebody who feels the same. In your own words, what is like weird? Because a lot of people use that word for common, what is weird energy to you? It depends. I think there's a good weird and a bad weird. Um, I think the bad weird, you know, is people who are really creepy and um, uh, not nice. I think a, a good weird is somebody who might be a little eclectic, you know, kind of interesting. So men approach you in person or online? I think either is fine. Oh, really? You feel like social media has made people closer or separate? Closer. Closer? You want to get a camera 360? Okay. How do you know if you find a good guy? Um, feel safe. You feel like you can tell them whatever you need to. Um, I don't know, you can just tell. You don't feel nervous around them or like you have to do anything. Define immaturity. Um, lack of confidence, emotional intelligence. Yeah, that's how I would define it. What do you feel like women really want from men? Um, someone who will take care of them so it doesn't make them feel helpless. That's what I think. What's the difference between a girlfriend and a wife? If you find the right one, I don't think there should be. But a girlfriend, I'm not going to be cooking and cleaning for you. I'm not going to, I mean, I'll cook for you, but, you know, that's not going to be my main job. Um, or, like, I'm not going to do your laundry. But if I'm your wife, you know, I'll be there for you. I'll do what you need to do. It's more of a ride or die, I feel like. Why well, should a man get a wife to do laundry? You can just hire a maid and hire a, a sex worker. Why would he need a wife if he could get those two things? Then he doesn't. Then that's not a dude that wants a wife. I mean, you don't, not everyone wants to get married or needs to get married. I think it depends on the person. Um, if that's what the guy wants, then he can do that. But that doesn't mean that the woman has to, you know, mm. do that. What does the bare minimum mean? For me, it's just talking um, and, you know, just supporting me in whatever way you can. Um, just being there, being my partner, like, you know, 50-50, I would say. Yeah. 